What's up guys? This is the beginning of the Big Stone Lake TBF Stop 3 tournament. It's late Thursday night. We just got home from a soccer game with the kids. I'm literally just throwing crap in the boat. Throwing crap in the back of the SUV so I can get an early start in the morning. Didn't really have time to rig rods. I thought I would. This is a start. Should be a fun one. We're going to be on the hunt for some bigs because I think this tournament's going to take a lot of weight. So uh, stick around and enjoy the adventure and I think this will be a good one. Alright, got a little later start than I thought, but hey, we hit a quick trip, getting some boat snacks, popping them in the cooler for later. We're at Quick Trip because, contrary to what Bart and Sobe tell you, Casey sucks in Quick Trip where it's at. Don't forget it. Finally made it to Big Stone. It's about 10 a.m. We're about to start probing around this beast 24, 26 miles. Beautiful calm day out here. It's supposed to pick up wind a little later, so we're going to spend this time running around looking at stuff. Try some deep, try some shallow, scan around, set the hook a few times, see what this lake has to offer. We got two pretty full days to unlock this before the Derby Day on Sunday. Join the ride, see if we can figure this lake out, and uh, hopefully this is going to be a good practice video and even a better tournament video coming up. It only took a few casts to score with a chunky little bass on a frog up in a shade tree. This ain't the kind we need, but good bass, good start, good clue. Uh, see if we can find more of this. Think he wanted it? All right, we're finally out fishing. Uh, it appears that my prop was spun on my first hub, so I started getting out, like graphing around, found some rocks and stuff, and then I went to get on plane to keep running down the lake, and I just couldn't get on plane, so I had to get way back on the ramp, load up the boat, it was like, killed like an hour. Uh, we're just, just got fishing, made about five casts, caught like a three pounder. It's probably not quite the size we need here, but uh, at least we got a bite, and we're finally <laughs> fishing. Not the prop I want to use, but uh, at least we got a prop for today. Frog and dirty. If you find them, they seem to like the frog. A little better. Getting bigger. A little fatter. Didn't want the frog though. Got him on the ring fry. Choking the frog, but they ain't the right size yet. But they eating it. Frog and dirty. Ugh, so deep, so filthy. You just gotta find the right size. Here we go, now we found a good one. An old weed mat. That, fatty, mm. Still eating it. Seventeen incher, three and three quarter pounds. Got a mega on a chatterbait. That old drum knocked the snot out of that chatterbait. <laughs> Not what we want. Another one right. There's a big one. Full grown. Another frog eater. Hmm. It's more like it. We're getting there. Look at them spots. That's pretty cool looking fish. Four pounds, 17 inches.
think we got one of the right ones. Look at that one. Didn't want the frog, had to throw the ring fry in there. Might have to slow down a little bit for the bigger ones. Four one four. Not a bad fish. All right, we're off the water. It's almost nine o'clock. We put in a good eight to nine hours today. Mm, decent practice. I think you'll see some of it. Uh, quite a few bites on a frog, a few on soft plastics, tons of bites, 18, 19 pounds on that shallow tree deal. I don't know if that'll hold up until Sunday. I shook off some. I think I kind of know what I'm looking for there. I tried to find some other stuff, some mid-range, some offshore stuff. I really didn't get very many bites doing that. So that's probably going to be the focus tomorrow is just look for more water that looks right for the trees and then focus on trying to find a different bite. So far, decent practice. Time to uh, refuel, get some sleep, retie some stuff, and uh, put a log day in tomorrow. Good morning from day two. Chatterbug bass. Not big, but I caught them offshore. Kind of a clean spot in the grass and some weeds. Some places I marked yesterday. Didn't catch any fish on it yesterday, but got this little guy. Hopefully there's some bigger ones. But I'm a little concerned because my frog bite, fishing shade lines and trees. Yesterday and today, lots of sun, lots of shade lines. Tomorrow, clouds and rain. So I don't know if that pattern is going to hold up. So we need to find some other things we feel confident about and other ways we can catch them just in case that doesn't pan out when the conditions change. So that's going to be the plan today. Got our first white bass of the trip on the chatterbait. Not what we're looking for. Got one here. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> On a Stanley Rivet. Look at that thing. Oof. I wouldn't have set this if I thought he was that big. Right there, a little Stanley Rivet. Buzzing frog, horny toad, strikes again. So we're wrapping up practice, and slightly afternoon, look who showed up. What up? My partner decided he was gonna practice for a few hours. Yes, sir. Mr. Dan from Arsenal Fishing. It's my birthday yesterday. I had a little too Happy much birthday. To <laughs> we're gonna finish up practice. We might check in one more time uh, with a game plan for tomorrow. But uh, I don't know, we caught some good fish today. Caught a lot of fish. I don't know, conditions will change tomorrow, so it'll be interesting. Almost a nine inch bluegill flipping in the grass. Look at that thing. <laughs> Dano, playing the drums. Hi, hi drum guy. That's way smaller than the one that I caught on my channel. We got a multi-species beatdown happening right here. We got whites, we got drums, we got everything. You got a boat with it? I don't think I can do that. Get your little lip. Look at that. Slouch. Oh my god, yeah, dude, that's a dog. There's a there is another one with it too. I saw another one, about three pounds with it. Oh. There's our oh, first good flipping bite. Dude. <laughs> dude. Look at that tankatron. Wow. Dude, that's a. I think we know a, what side of the lake we're fishing on tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's that's gotta be a five. It's 
close. close. She's a little skinny. Yeah. All right. A little close. Dang, dogs. Looking for five of those tomorrow. <laughs> Come over to a new spot. Rich is like, it's got to be good. Some good fish got to be in this area. Took one f first uh, practice flip. Found some what coontail or was it milfoil? I couldn't. Tiny bit of coontail. Yeah, a little it's tiny bit of coontail, and there's a little bit of floating on top of the water over here too. First real true green grass we've seen. Three flips in, almost what big four pounder, maybe possible five pounder here. Five, five even, five one. Five flipping one. Let's go. <laughs> All right, practice is a wrap. We've got the boats all ready. We're taking Dan's Vexus tomorrow, so that should be fun. Caught fish several different ways. I'm kinda, you know, hopefully that frog thing goes, but if not, we got some backup plans here uh, for the rain and possibly the wind tomorrow. But Derby Day is tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the tourney video. And if you guys wanna continue to catch more big bass and suck less, make sure you catch one of these videos right here.